hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching well y'all first i want to say thank you to my day ones twos and threes and all the new subscribers that's coming in thank you so much for your love and your support the ones that means well thank you <sighs> people are wondering right now why background well not background dance we already know about him but why number seven and rain man is so close is there any kind of bond between them okay well this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only y'all and fair use Word on the street is that could be number seven. That was in that um, Durango, I guess, the white Durango. They got out and took out Bubba. That's word on the street. Okay. Well, word on the street is he stayed. He used to live somewhere around either Doug Dollar or, um, the other one. Gupo. I, I always say his name wrong. Sorry, y'all. But they say that he lived around them. And that he could have been the one that gave the heads up. Okay? Was he playing both sides, y'all? Was he trying to prove to Mo3 that he was loyal to him by giving up somebody on the other side and was he doing dirt right up under Mo3 nose ask yourself this question he was one of the ones that went over to ski sister house he was one of the ones that was on the phone before Mo3 you know was taken out His name is coming up that, you know, he lived around the ops. And this is why I said, was he one of the money Mayas? Okay, y'all? Well, think about this, y'all. Could this be why they got each other back so hard? Him and Rain Man, number seven, Rain Man, because they got dirt on each other? Could that be why they sticking so close together? Think about this. People are saying, word on the street is. In this videos for education, I, I already know. Fair use, all that good stuff. But if people are saying that that's him, that got out that car, that Durango, and hit up Bubba. That would make sense of why they are so close. It would have been the perfect time because I think, okay, if I'm not mixing nothing up, I do believe Mo3 and Rain Man was handling some business when Mo3, when uh, Bubba was taken out. They were handling business. That would let the ops know that, you know, Mo3 wasn't around. This the best time to do it. They got inside scoop. Because we already know Rain Man was telling the ops everything that was going on with Mo3. He loved to throw in his mouth. Another thing that's a surprise to me, but it makes a little sense. The driver of the Durango, the driver of the Durango, when they took Bubba out, it looks like Duck Dollar to me, y'all. 
he would have all the reason in the world to want to take out Bubba. Especially the back and forth that was going on. Look at the picture, y'all. Look at the pictures, y'all. Look at the cover. Sometimes you see him, he looks brown, brown skinned. It. Sometimes you see him, he looks darker in certain lights. Could it have been Duck Dollar driving that car? Ask yourself this question. Could number seven have been playing both sides with them and they didn't even know it? He was getting inside scoop from all three against them. He was giving them inside scoop against small three. I just said this in several videos was number seven, one of the money Mayas. And the only person that knew about it was Rain Man. Did Rain Man know what number seven was doing? They're defending each other now. He's running and getting toys to back people off of Rain Man. Could he have possibly been in on something with Rain Man? Is that why Mo3 trusted number seven? Because number seven was bringing him info? Along with the females. Could the other side trusted number seven? Because he was bringing them information about Mo3. Was he the middleman, y'all? And did Rain Man know about the whole thing? Ask yourself this question. I don't live there. I don't know. But y'all know if number seven used to live around Duck Dollar, where he used to be at or live at, or Gupo, Gopo, whatever his name is. Because if he did, there might be some truth to this, Mr. Money Maya. Okay, y'all? Anyway, I just wanted to jump on here really quick and throw that out there, okay? Because one thing for certain, let me see. One thing for certain, y'all. Let me see. Can I put it up really, really quick for y'all? One thing for certain, y'all. I want y'all to look at something. Look at something really quick. Okay? This is what I'm talking about. He looks... It's, it's, it's light outside. He looks a little bit lighter right here. Okay. Another thing I want y'all to pay attention to is his, he liked those button up shirts. Okay. And it looks like the person that's in that Durango, the white one that, you know, hit up Bubba. It looks like they have on a button up shirt too. Okay. Pay this some attention, y'all. Just work with me for a second. If you look at this picture right here, he looks darker. Right, y'all? He looks darker. And I don't know why they have crosses on their neck. They, I don't know why their neck don't burn. Okay. Look at him. 
look at his complexion look at his mustache his beard head shape his body size look at him y'all okay got another one his boy over here okay this is another picture of him he loves these button up shirts he loves them now here's another button up shirt but I want you to look at how dark he looks his face has angled look at it y'all okay look at it now they're in Dallas so most likely the toys they have is legitimate okay so that's okay for me to show because the majority of them they, their, their toys is legal okay look at this car right here okay this Durango I believe that's what it is that's what they say it is now they're saying that this could be number seven okay um there's also been a little argument that this also could have been DJ that he's with okay but look in the car look in the Durango his face angle it looks like that could be him but seriously do now I know he got hit up when um Gupo was taken out was he healed enough he didn't get out the car and run or anything like that only thing he did was drive did he want to be there to see it I don't know but it looks like that could be him. It looks like this shirt is a button-up shirt. The complexion, his size, it looks like that could be him. Now, look at this picture here. A little bit lighter. And it's a little bit more blurrier, but I have did so many screenshots and of them moving and this and that. And it looks like that could be him to me that's what I see anyway I just wanted to run that past y'all I wanted to run that past you I wish I would have had the other pictures together but I'm gonna put those pictures probably in the post I might put those up. Um, the one from the other video I was talking about. But I just wanted you all to see this. Okay? And that um, that could possibly be him. Another thing, one more thing I wanted to talk to you all about. When they jumped out of that car and they ran over there and they was hitting Bubba up. The one that was light skinned that he was, he was using it. His toy. But the darker skinned one, he was using his toy a little bit differently. I want y'all to pay attention. It was like, let me see how I can explain it. It was personal. A little bit more personal, which make you think, well, maybe it could have been DJ. Because DJ got hit up in the Sprinter, right, y'all? I think he got hit up in the Sprinter when, you know, many men got hit up. So if he recovered enough and he wanted retaliation and he went over there and hit a bubble, it seems to me that he wanted to make sure that Bubba was taken out. There wasn't no chance of him coming back from that. He was the one that was really into it. Go look at the footage and check it out for yourself. The lighter skinned one, the one who they think is number seven, allegedly, he looks like. He came to do a job, but the other one, 
looks like this is personal. I got hit up. I'm finna take your boy out. So it could be a possibility that that is DJ. Not sure. Okay? But it could be. Um, DJ weight goes up and down. Up and down. Sometimes he's, you know, skinny at the bottom, really fat at the top. Sometimes he's humongous at the top. Hu humongous at the top. And a little bit skinny at the bottom. So I'm not sure about that one. But the other one, it's a possibility that it could be duck. Okay, y'all? Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching.